What's up guys, another year has passed, so I figured I might as well start this year by properly introducing myself. I'm Robert, a 33 years old software tester, part-time YouTuber, living in Romania. Recently I got my hands on an Asus ROG Strix G15 laptop and here are my thoughts about the build quality and performance. When opening the box, the clever design raises the device for easier access. Besides the laptop, this package came with a 280 watt power brick that is quite heavy with a weight of 1.02 kilograms that should easily charge the 90 watt hour 4 cells lithium ion battery. Based on a dark grey color scheme, the exterior design is well balanced. The main deck is made out of a smooth plastic, which is quite a fingerprint magnet. The lid is aluminum with a rougher finish that nicely complements the panel lid ROG logo. Having three levels of illumination for the perky backlit keyboard and the RGB bar, both with Aura support, helps to keep the device with minimal elements that hint towards a gaming laptop. Weighing around 2.32 kilograms or 3.35 kilograms with the charger included, means you will have to carry around quite some weight when traveling. This version of the G15 came with an AMD Ryzen 9 6900HX mobile processor with 8 cores and 16 threads, 20 megabytes cache up to 4.9 GHz max boost, an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 laptop GPU with 8 GB of GDDR6 and ROG boost of 1595 MHz at 150 watts. A 15.6 inch matte IPS display with a 2K resolution, 165 Hz refresh rate, 3 milliseconds response time, adaptive sync, a MOX switch plus Optimus, and Dolby Vision HDR support. 
32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory at 4800 MHz and a 1 terabyte PCIe 4.0 NVMe SSD. Connectivity is decent with two USB 3.2 type A ports and a 3.5 mm combo audio jack on the left side of the device and on the rear side of the device a USB 3.2 type C port, another USB 3.2 type C port with power delivery and G-Sync, an HDMI 2.0 port and an Ethernet port. Wireless connectivity is achieved using Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Sadly, no card reader or webcam are available, but the illuminated numpad that can be enabled or disabled is a nice feature. To test the CPU performance, I ran several 10 minutes long throttling tests in Cinebench R23 with around 5 minutes breaks to allow the CPU to cool down. I used the predefined fan speed profiles and ran the tests with and without additional external cooling to check how this would influence the performance. Based on the results, it seems that using an external cooling pad will improve performance. To test and compare the performance under editing workloads, I ran the standard test and Puget Bench for Premiere Pro. Here are the results and comparison to other systems available online. I measured the gaming performance of the G15 using NVIDIA's performance overlay. From the provided metrics, here are some values for the FPS and GPS temperature using the predefined Armory Crate fan profiles and additional cooling pad in various combinations. During my tests, I was very impressed by the picture quality and response time of the display. Also, the thin bezels on the sides and top made content watching more enjoyable. Even though a webcam and SD card reader were not considered for the G15, and some might feel discouraged by this, I still recommend that you check this out, mainly for its price and performance ratio. Thanks for watching and till next time, take care.